Well, hello, my butterflies. How are you? How was your body? How was your mind? How was your spirit? I wanna thank you for choosing to listen to my voice for Pretty Wing Magic's audio journal. Entry number 141 titled A Reminder. So I'm your host, Tracy, your spiritual plug. I flip energy and help others do the same. This week's candle was I am love. That intention is for uh, self-love, forgiveness, and understanding. The candle along with the incense to match can be purchased at prettywingmagic.com. So with this title, a reminder, right? And that's exactly what I got this morning, okay? So I was getting up ready uh, for the day. I have a lot of energy the last two days um, I got to see where we are astrologically. I need to see where I am. Oh, I know where we are astrologically. Um, if you follow astronomical astrology, which is like real time astrology, if you take a telescope and look into the sky where the constellations are yesterday, the sun went into Capricorn. We know Capricorns are hard workers. Capricorns are about they coin. Capricorn is also um, ruled by Saturn, which is the planet of karma. Do with that information as you will. I'm not an astrologer, okay? I just like to study it. So I'm getting ready, you know, more energy than I typically have. Um, and I turn on a music playlist. The music just ain't hitting this moment. So it was like, go to a random, you know, podcast entry. Go to one of your random audio journal entries. So I end up going to entry 121. And it's titled... Um, fast paced but supported goodness and I recorded it on August the tw uh, August 18th of 2023 we are on January 23rd 2024 okay so um, on that entry is the entry that I talked about and I actually had um, mentioned for the first time that I I'm in a relationship and I talked about divine unions. I talked about my triggers and how, you know, minute by minute, I'm having to, you know, ask myself, is this real? And one of the things that I mentioned in that entry is that my previous relationships, I didn't have a relationship with God, right? This one I do, right? So it I talked about my fears and things like that. You can all definitely link that episode into this episode's uh, show notes. But long story less long, what came from that was confirmation, right? So we go to couples counseling. Um, we're very, our intention is to be intentional about our relationship and where we want to go, right? So like I mentioned in that entry, everything about this situation is totally new. I'm doing everything when I say a lot, everything different. I have a different level of self-awareness, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'm also still doing individual counseling as well. And um, one of the things for my individual session, my therapist asked me, she was like, well, do you think it's possible that the expectation that you put on your current partner stem from what you didn't receive in your previous relationships? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I can absolutely see that. Absolutely. So, it, you know, um, it was the reminder of one, the, the, to the situation is totally different. Even though the similarities in so many ways is so totally different, right? Um, and then 
when we had our session this past weekend, what she, you know, brought to our attention is that both of our traumas are showing up in our relationship and we are, our brains are telling us things that just are not true about the other person. Right. So as I'm listening to entry 121, I'm literally telling myself, right. When I tell, when I always say, if you listen to me, I always say, this is me talking to me. So I'm telling myself that I have to be mindful of my triggers, of my expectations, of the, you know, standards, quote unquote, standards that I set for myself, right? And I'm not going to go into everything because you can just read this into entry 121. But again, it was just the reminder of where I am today, right? And where I was in August. And it's like, I have to get back to that point where I had so much faith in God's decision, right? In God's choice, you know, for me and to put me in this situation. But it's like, girl, you need to remind yourself, right? Like how everything unfolded, how the relationship started. Because right now what I see is myself getting stuck into an old pattern, an old cycle of limiting beliefs, right? Of, okay, I've been here before. When it's like, have I? Right. My brain is telling me, yes. But if I really remove my you know, emotions and my trauma from the situation, no, the situation is still new. The situation is still different. So don't lose faith in what God gave you. Right. Don't get comfortable. Right. It's easy to go back to your old thinking. Right. It's easy to get stuck there. So I'm thankful, one, for um, the reminder. Right. And what came up is in those show notes of entry 121, the Bible verse, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. And it reads, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. And what that reminded me when I read that was the love, right? Like my definition of love was not God's definition of love, right? Because I was irritable at a point, right? I was keeping school, you know, it says uh, keeps no record of being wrong. I was keeping a record, right? Um, love never gives up. I was giving up. I was losing faith. I was losing hope, right? And I'm so thankful, right, for my therapist because she has no idea that I did this journal entry back in August. Like that journal entry talks about um, I was about to go to therapy. So when I tell you, you know, God, make sure you receive the messages that you're supposed to receive when you're supposed to receive them. And my God always gives me confirmation, right? I usually ask for double or triple confirmation on something that's really, really, really weighing on my heart. And I got the confirmation when I was in counseling, you know, individuals, my individual session. The next session was our couple session when she talked about, hey, you both have limits and beliefs based on your past traumas and you see those limits and beliefs in the other person and they're not true. And then three, going back to my old entry of 121 and I talk about, you know, having to really ask God, you know, is this real? What's real and what's fake? Like having to determine and him, you know, God literally telling me this is how you can determine things. It's God in it. Right. And when I say it's God in it, it's like, okay, is there, this is just my one of my ways of knowing that God is in it. Is there a Bible verse to back that up? Is there? And if it is, then yes. And mine's for this scenario was correct. First Corinthians 13 verses four through seven about what love is. And going back to the Tyrese. Um, so I attempted to record this entry a couple of times. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating this part. But Tyrese has a song called Love Transaction. And he's talking about um, basically how he feels like his re his relationship, his you know, his previous relationship was just a it was basically a transactional relationship. 
And if you know me, you know that music is one of my mediums when it comes to, you know, um, my guidance and, you know, hearing God's word and my ancestors, you know, messages. So I turned, got in the car and that song came on and I was like, dang, I could easily come off this way. I could easily come off looking like, you know, my love is transactional, right? It's based on transactions, you know? Um, so it caused me to look at myself and that song came on right before our, our, our couple sessions. So I'll have that song playing. Um, I mean, like I said, I put it on this playlist, but I sent that to my partner to say, hey, you know, is this how you feel? Um, I just wanted him to realize, like, I can, I under, I want him to see that I see how I can come off, right, at times when I'm in survival mode, right, when I don't feel safe in my relationship. This is how I can be perceived, right, and I know that, and I don't want that, but I know that's how it can look at times. So I'm grateful for um, my past relationships. I'm grateful for the men that have been in my life past, present, and future, right? Because those past experiences, even though they have shaped me into, you know, they shaped me into who I am and they kind of are making, you know, my current relationship more difficult based on those past experiences. But I also own the part that I play in that. I also own the generational patterns that play in that. So I'm grateful to have somebody that's patient with me. Like I said, I really feel like God sent the perfect person for me because I see myself in him in so many ways i remember um my previous our last session i mentioned like hey i know i can't ask for consistency if i'm not being consistent like it's that type of thing like the things that i see that i feel like you know where my partner you know it's like the, i don't want to say complaints that's not the right word but there's just things that you know i would like for him to work on once I get out of my feelings and sit down with myself and, you know, it's like, girl, you need to work on those same things. Right. And, you know, there's all, you know, people always mention, I don't know when I say people, I mean like relationship experts and um, people too, right. Depending on where you get your guidance from, but you hear, or I hear often that, you know, you can't really change nobody. You have to change yourself. And I think part of that comes with, being able to look in the mirror and know that the things that you are complaining about somebody else, nine times out of 10, is really things that you need to change about yourself as well. So let me show up consistently. Right. And pray that he does too. Right. Um, but again, like my therapist says, is the work that we're doing, most people don't do. The work that we're doing is hard work. Right. To be in an intentional relationship, not just going with the flow, but to like really try to be mindful of how the other person feels and on top of how we feel and things that we've been through, trying not to bring those past experiences into this current situation, even though they continue to, you know, to show itself. Right. What she always reminds us is that the ideas and the things and the ways that we are, you know, is we've been doing these things for 40 plus years it's not all going to go away in six or seven months, right? It's about continuing to put in the work. It's about, you know, Corinthians 13, four through seven, first Corinthians 13, four through seven, what love truly is and hold on to what love is and not what society tells you what love is, not what social media tells you what love is, not what your parents or grandparents, you know, tell you what love is. What does God say love is? And God says, one more again, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth is, whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. No, uh, excuse me, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance means humble yourself let go of control enjoy the small wins have faith okay so with that being said 
I'm going to get out of here. And because we are still, you know, the same shit, different day. If you don't know, um, same shit, different day. I do with my co-host of Perspective Speaking. Um, it is, it started off as we called it Bible study, where all it, you know, long story, less long, the title is in itself, same shit, different day. You have the same things that play out in the Bible in our everyday lives, right? So we just bring those two things together in a entertaining, you know, loving, lighthearted, um, playful way while sharing our story and our experiences with those Bible verses that we share. And so um, this week's um, verses, we went over um, Proverbs. And hold on, I'm about to tell you which Proverbs it was. So we went over Proverbs 6, 6 through 11, Proverbs, Proverbs 13, uh, 4, and Proverbs 13, 11. So um, you can listen to that. Um, you can, um, or watch it. We have our first visual dropping to, um, on Thursday. No, our first visual is dropping on Friday on my YouTube channel. Pretty Wing Magic. Um, the audio is still going to be available on Thursdays um, on Spotify. You can also listen um, to all episodes. There's a playlist as well linked in the description. Um, so we're going to leave it with the candle of the week, which is I am enough for abundance, confidence, and motivation. Um, again, it can be purchased along with the incense to accompany it at prettywingmagic.com. That's prettywingmagic.com. <laughs> um, but I thank you so much for listening. Know that you are love. You are peace. You are enough. You are protected. And you are forever adjusting. Be love, be well, be you. <laughs>